Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. thought she'd have her new roof and solar panels installed by hurricane season after handing over thousands of dollars back in January. But she tells us she's been getting the runaround for an entire year. That is until Local 10 News investigator Jeff Weinseer got involved. May I talk to somebody about a client, about a client. that has been waiting for a year okay. for a... Sure. We are in Deerfield Beach inside the sales office of Vision Solar. One of their seven core values here, customers are important. And while employees are smiling and dancing when they see our cameras, Tracy Walters of Pembroke Pines is not. I've you get had tears on phone calls. It's frustrating. How much money have you given? A little over $21,000. When? in January, the last week of January of this year. So this is December. This is December. We're talking a year. A year. And you have what? Nothing. According to her signed work agreement completion for a roof and 28 solar panels was back in April. But Walters knew that was an estimate. In May, roofers did show up, pulled a permit, but then they vanished. She says she's been calling Vision Solar's New Jersey headquarters every single week since. What's the excuse after a year? The last conversation, you said you spoke to him Tuesday. The last conversation was they were looking for more roofers. With a quick Google search, we found TV stations in Tampa and Orlando have both done consumer-related complaint stories on Vision Solar. And pitched the system as a money-saving move. The Better Business Bureau has an F rating for Vision, 410 complaints in the past three years. Our customers are of the utmost importance to us, as is our reputation. And we are Eventually, that woman in their Deerfield Beach sales office reappears and reads some BS prepared statement that we frankly don't want to hear. And she can't answer any questions about Walter's situation. Do you feel at this point you've been ripped off? Yeah. Just a half hour after our visit to that office, Walters got a call from corporate with an apology and an offer for a full refund, which she declined. And we got this statement from Vision's chief marketing officer claiming, quote, I am deeply troubled to hear about her experience, admitting it shouldn't have happened, and quote, we own it. They are suddenly working to expedite Walters' installation, and that company is claiming there are roofing challenges in Florida. But Walters has been watching, seeing what's been going on in her Pembroke Shores neighborhood. People are getting their roofs done in the neighborhood. Walters is willing to give them another chance and is hoping Vision will now clearly see this is not the way to treat customers. In Pembroke Pines, Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.